Welcome back to AgorJS. Today's question is leak code 28. Find the index of the first occurrence in a string. So given two strings, needle and haystack, we'll return the index of the first occurrence of needle in haystack or minus one if needle is not part of haystack. So in example one, we have haystack, which is sad but sad, and needle, which is sad. So we need to find the first occurrence of needle, which is sad, in haystack and return the index of S, which is zero. In example two, we can't find the first occurrence of Lito within haystack, so we return minus one. So one way of solving this problem is to loop through haystack. Let's actually add the indices. So we loop through haystack. We need to find the first occurrence of S, so the first character within needle in haystack. Once we find it, we create a substring from this point. And substring, the params passed in is start and end. So the start is going to be this value, so it's going to be i, and the end is going to be i plus needle.length, which will be this value. So we create the substring, then we compare this substring, so this is the substring. We then compare this to needle. If they are equal, then we return the value of i. So let's say the first value wasn't an S. We'd loop through haystack until we found needle at zero, which is going to be S. So we loop through haystack until we find S. This is the value of S. So I is at six. So we create the substring. So it's going to be I and I plus needle dot length. So I is six and I plus needle dot length is going to be nine. That will give us this substring here. Three values, six, seven, and eight. The end value here is not inclusive, so we have sad as our answer. And we'll just return i, which is equal to six. So time complexity of this, upper bound is going to be o n squared, because say for example we had a, 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 n, and needle is equal to a, n. Within our haystack, we're going to have to loop through each a, and create a substring, and only on the last one will we find our solution. So upper bound will be on squared, and then space is going to be on. So to make this algorithm slightly more efficient, we could have an initial check that checks to see if the haystack is already equal to needle, or needle is equal to an empty string, in which case we can return zero. Then we create the loop, so i is equal to zero, i is less than haystack.length. So we're going to be looping through haystack. We need to check if haystack at i is equal to needle at zero. If it is, then we've found a potential solution. So we need to create a substring from this. So let's call it sub haystack.substring. The starting value is going to be i, the end value is going to be i plus needle.length. If sub is equal to needle, so now we compare the substring we created with needle. If this is true, then we can just return i. Otherwise, if this loop completes and we don't find a solution, we can return minus one. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go, 